problem is, the berry harvest is just one day away. If he does tomorrow what he's doing today, what could happen? Oh my, I don't want to say. Uh-oh. Just like at the cafe. Oh, no one will know which flavor of berry juice is which. What if I was to baby berry can sit for a day? Hmm. That would be a big help. It would save the harvest. But I couldn't ask. Such a large task. I'd be happy to, Princess Berrykin. Yeah! Good idea! He's so cute! That'd be fun! We'll all babysit him. <laughs> that is, if we can catch him. I would be ever so grateful. It's my pleasure. Looks like our work's cut out for us, girls. What's the plan? Chase him till he's so sleepy he takes a nap? Yell, ice cream, and when he comes up to get it, grab him? Hmm. Separate and encircle. Yeah! It's okay? Ask? Uh-huh. That's when you want to do something, and you ask how somebody feels about it. <laughs> huh? I feel it would be fun. Baby Barrican might learn a thing or two if he was to spend the day with you. Day with Strawberry! Day with Strawberry! <laughs> All right, then. 
What do you say to strawberry? Take care, strawberry! You're very, very welcome. golf course. I must say, this is marvelous fun. <laughs> huh? What's happened to my ball? Disappeared, vanished before my very eyes. Oh, oh, oh here's mine. But somehow it's turned green. Oh, 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 but, but this is the wrong color. You can't see it. Isn't this strange? <laughs> you there! Did you have something to do with this? Oh, now I've lost it again! Oh, oh. oh you poor dear! Looks like our game is ruined. Oh, but I was about to win. Great color on you. I like it too. But the other one is very nice as well. <laughs> you want to try it on again? Um, 
Yes, please. Stop! Oh, come back here. Wait for a... Strawberry! What do you think? <laughs> I like this one too, but... Oh, I just... I just wish I had a bunch more colors to show you. in fashion design. Oh, how do you get somebody this young to realize that what they do has an effect on everybody else? Oh, there he is. It was him. Oh, I was this close to a winning round at my miniature golf course. That's it! Your miniature golf course. Can we bring Baby Berrykin to come play? <laughs> yeah! 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 <laughs> but, 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 but he'll change the balls the wrong colors. Exactly. Let's go. Oh, but... Trust me, Mr. Longface. I think this will work. You'll be doing a great service to Berry Bitty City. Lost ungreen golf balls that I have. I know. Thank you for letting us use them. Don't worry. We'll be very careful. Won't we, Baby Berrykin? So, what do you say? Would you like to give it a try? Oh, oh. Yes, please. <laughs> Okay, Baby Berrykin, try and make your ball go up the ramp, through the windmill, like this. Oh, yay, Strawberry! <laughs> Thank you. Now it's your turn. Why? 
it isn't my ball. My ball is blue. Strawberry, is this yours? Oh, no. It couldn't be mine. Mine already went through. <laughs> my turn! My turn! I'm sorry, Baby Berrykin. But we can't play if we don't know which ball belongs to which player. Oh, sorry, Miss Shortcake. Uh, perhaps another time. <sighs> Come on, Baby Berrykin. We'll find something else to do. Play! I want to play merry-go-round! Please, Strawberry! Well, the only way we can play is if we know whose ball is whose. Oh, if only there was a way to make the balls go back to the color they used to be. I know! I know! I can take out Barry's bottles and I can put them back, Strawberry! Promise! Really? Oh, that's great! taking the berry sparkles out of the golf balls. Could you do the same with the other things you changed? So everything looks like it was before? She's pretty. Oh! No? No. You see, everyone likes different things. And Lemon likes how she looked before you changed her. Oh! Okay! Thank you, Baby Bearkin. <laughs> You're welcome, Lemon. You're the 
the first to try my rainbow smoothie. Now that the right colors match the flavors again, I could finish it. Mmm, pretty and tasty. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Oh, that's very pretty. Thank you, Swabelly. Oh, the color I want. Well, it's not here. <gasps> I know. Say, can you make this crayon a color that's a little bit more like this one? Uh-uh. Why not? Using belly sparkles to change colors is bad. Oh, baby Barrykin. Your sparkles aren't bad. They're beautiful. It's wonderful. It is? Yes, it is. All you need to do is think before you do it. Think, how will it make other people feel? Strawberry? Yes. What if I don't know? Well, then you ask them. Is it okay? No. <laughs> Very okay. Oh, pretty. Thank you, Baby Barrykin. You're welcome, Strawberry. Simply delightful. 
Oh, Mr. Longface, I'm so glad you're here. It's only a week until the next Storytime Corner, and you're the perfect person to help me with the poem I'll be reading for everyone. It's almost there, I think, but I would be grateful for some help with these two words. Oh, twould be an honor. <laughs> oh, thank you. Just those two words are all that I... Oops, excuse me. Strawberries Cafe, hope you're having a very nice day. Strawberry speaking. Oh, that's great! I'll be right over, Raspberry. Um, do you mind watching the cafe, Mr. Longface? Just running over to Raspberry's boutique. Be right back. Why, certainly. <laughs> Take your time. Hmm, glittering. Oh, no, 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 no. Glittery. Yes. I'm so excited. A custom-designed, one-of-a-kind, raspberry original dress for my own poetry night. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have all of your <gasps> merry measurements. Oh. Now I know what size to make your dress. So you can relax. <sighs> Oh, would you like to see my preliminary, you know, my first sketches? And you can make any changes you want. Surprise me. I just love surprises. Well, okay then. I guess so. Then I'll just, uh, you know, go with what I had, I mean, have in mind. If that's what you have in mind. Sounds terrific. Well, I've got to get back to the cafe. Thanks. I'll have it ready for you by story time. Oh, falling star from outer space. Huh? huh? Doth I wish to see your face. Oh, falling star up in the sky. I see you twinkle with my eye. Don't fly away. You'll make me cry. <gasps> oh, oh. <clears throat> ah, Miss Shortcake, would you know a word that rhymes with cry? Why? Why? Of course. Perfect. I mean, why? changed so much of my poem. Didn't you like it? Oh, oh no, my dear. I simply adored it. I merely made a few changes to give it more of that sense of, well, being there. The actual moment when you saw the star. Well, to tell the truth, I haven't ever seen a shooting star. I was more imagining. Oh, my. But to be a true poet, you must write about what you know. To write what it feels like to wish upon a falling star, you must experience it for yourself. Hmm. Strawberry? On a camp out. I'm trying to write a poem about wishing on a shooting star. And Mr. Longface says to write about something, you should experience it. Ah, yes. Just like when I dance, one has to feel it from within. Uh, yeah. Think it might be a little cold tonight for a camp out? Well, if this will make me a better writer, it's worth it. Oh, wait! I have some Glowberry Sunflower Energy Bars. They're just the thing for a camp out. Thanks, Plum. Looks like Raspberry's working late. Maybe she could use some munchies. Oh, do me a favor, will you? 
Make sure she's not working too hard on that dress she's making for me. Sure thing. <laughs> when I'm changing my mind back and forth but now I'm thinking I really like what I started with best but now I'm worried I won't finish it in time oh you poor thing can I help I can cut stuff or you could show me what to do oh, that's so sweet of you but it's really important to me that I do this by myself know what I mean I guess are you sure? I'm sure. I just hope I can. it in time you'll do it you just need a good night's sleep a fresh start in the morning and I know you'll make your wish come true I'll close up your shop really okay good night plum <sighs> hmm thanks again what are friends for everything she makes to be the very best it can be. That's why I say we've got to finish Strawberry's outfit ourselves. Tonight! What Plum's talking about us doing sounds like this story. The Shoemaker and the Elves. While the Shoemaker is asleep, these elves sneak in and make the shoes to help him out. <gasps> we could be like the elves! Raspberry Secret Helpers! Deal? Deal! Deal. What? 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 <sighs> okay. No more sleeping. Okay.
original design, so I, I, uh, hmm. well, you see, we thought, well, it was, it was the fashion elves. Fashion elves? Yeah! You know, like, the story about the shoemaker's elves? Blueberry has a book about it. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Kinda like, um... The Berrykins, but with pointy shoes. They know when you're in need, and they come at night and help. Really? Can you see them? Well, um... You can! I mean, you can't. I mean, you can, but you shouldn't. Those are the rules. You spy on fashion elves, they run away and never come back. That's right! Elves, what are you gonna do? It must have been because you were wishing so hard for your dress to be made. Your wish came true. It isn't that you couldn't have done it on your own. And it's still from your design. Well, not really. <laughs> this is a much more of uh, a uh, complicated. But wow, if these fashion elves can make a design this complicated in one night, Think what they could do with a little more uh, direction. Huh? huh? Now I can really go wild and design something for Strawberry that is extra, extra ordinary out of this world. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, something like, uh, like this. I'll leave a new design up for the fashion elves tonight and see how they do with it. Maybe they're uh, only one night elves? Uh, possibly, yes. But in case they are here to stay, I better get designing because Strawberry deserves the very best. <laughs> Keep your heels on the floor as long as it's possible. Don't you think we should tell her the truth? Ooh, how are we gonna stay up another whole night? I was going to until somebody said fashion elves. I'm sorry. Oh, Releve and turn around. Oh, grand plie. Uh, first position. This is a monster of a dress. We'll never finish it by morning. We've got to for Raspberry. Look, let's divide the design in four parts and each take a section. Good idea. See? Now if 
it drizzles, we won't get wet. We'll just climb into the tent. Oh, muffin crumbs. It's stuck. Don't tell me. and greatest. <gasps> this is exquisite! Especially this area. I really love this space down here. Hmm. <laughs> but see, it only goes partway around the hem. Hmm. It seems like the elves have gotten off track. Off track? Well, I, I think this outfit is a smashing success. It's fabulous. Just look at the placement of these buttons. So, uh, pleasingly unexpected. But, but, but girls, this dress doesn't look anything like my design. Hmm. Oh, but I like this detail here. Oh, and this lace over here. And these buttons are quite <laughs> clever. But the whole thing seems like too many uh, different designs in one. I know. Huh? What are you doing? You're not doing a new design, are you? Uh, no, no, no. I'm writing the elves a note. Well, you could just tell us and... <gasps> Dear elves, please concentrate on uh, one idea and go with it. <laughs> Gratefully yours, Raspberry Tort. <laughs> So you see the problem? I really think the best solution is to go with my idea. But I don't know how to tell the girls in the nicest way, so I don't make them feel like I'm, you know, putting down their dress designs. And how many nights have you girls been fashion sprites? Elves. Sorry. I've lost count. Um, four? I... Tell you what, I'm about to open the cafe, so why don't you come back at five today and we'll talk it over. I think I'll have an answer by then. Oh, that's great. Okay, thanks, Strawberry. So what do you think? How can I convince them to go with my idea and not hurt their feelings? Lemon, I'm having trouble hearing. Can you come by the cafe at, say, 5 o'clock? And I'm sure I'll have an answer for you. Five? Great! Thanks, Strawberry! Oh, you've got to help me. My idea is just simplest, that's all. But I don't want to appear bossy, you know. I have to get back to the cafe, but come by at, say, 5. And we'll talk it over. Strawberry, you said five o'clock, right? Oh, uh, hi, Blueberry. I'll be with you in just a second. <gasps> oh, 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 hey. Hi, Hiya. Uh, hi. How are you? Hi, all. Tea? Muffins? I know. Smoothies! But I thought you said we'd be meeting in private. No, I didn't. I'm sorry, girls, but I just don't feel comfortable taking secret meetings. I have a feeling this is something that we need to get out in the open. I mean, none of you would like the idea of something being done behind your back, would you? But it was only... We didn't mean to, Strawberry! <laughs> we were just trying to... It's okay. It's okay. I know you wanted to help Raspberry, which is very sweet. I just think being secret fashion elves might not be the best way. 
But we had to. I offered to help her, but she wanted to do it all by herself. Helping is good, but... Oh, well... Pardon the interruption, but here are three of my latest versions of your poem for your review, Miss Shortcake. What were you saying, Strawberry? Oh, it's just... Sometimes you want to make something your own way. You know, it's nice to know you can do some things all on your own. All on your own. Yes. Hmm. Strawberry's right. We should tell her the truth. Oh, but how? She'll be so disappointed. I'd rather make ten more dresses than disappoint Raspberry. Maybe the trouble is that we weren't working together. Let's all agree on one design and start over. used to oversleeping now that all my work is being done for me. Wow! Oh, it's perfect. It's absolutely amazing. Then why do you look so sad? Hmm, because I didn't make it. I really wanted to make something sweet for Strawberry that was all from me to her. My own design, all made by me. I can't take credit for this, though, even if it is really fabulously fantastic. Although the elves could surely use some practice with their cross-stitching. See, but I'm worried I'm going to hurt the elves' feelings. But... I have one more day to make Strawberry's dress, and I'm going to ask them to let me do it all by myself. Listen, Raspberry, you don't need to write the note. There's, um, something we need to tell you. It's just that I really want to read everyone a poem of my own. Oh, of course. <laughs> You're perfectly right, Miss Shortcake. I I'm afraid I got a bit carried away. I hope you know how much I always appreciate your help, Mr. Longface. As I appreciate yours, Miss Shortcake, your poem reawakened my long-lost love of poetry. Oh, Oh, girls, I know you were just trying to help. Well, if I fail, at least Strawberry could wear the dress you made. Well, I've got a lot of work to do. Maybe there's another way we can help you, Raspberry. Simple, Strawberry. I have a backup dress that is... Oh, I'd know a raspberry design anywhere. It's beautiful. I've done a lot of things so far, but never wished on a falling star. I've heard they're sparkling. Fast and white, 
with glittery tails that light the night. Maybe they look kind of prickly or furry. Someday I'll know, but I'm in no hurry. Who knows where I'll see one or when? I guess I'll just save up my wishes till then. In the meantime, I'm just having fun. Imagining the time when I do see one. <laughs> Gotta take care of them. Poor little guy. All alone in the big world. Orange, wait. We are little. What? You can trust me? Yeah. I won't hurt you. Listen for a sec, okay? I'm listening, I'm listening, but <laughs> he's going to get away. <laughs> I just ask that you consider something. He might be cute and little now, but he's going to grow. 
And then he might be harder to take care of. You are most <laughs> you are most likely right, Strawberry. But you always say, even though we're bitty, we're capable of big <laughs> things. <laughs> I mean, someone's gotta take care of him. <laughs> hey, where is he? You see? He wants to come home with me. I think I'll name you... Butch. Butch? He looks like a butch. He looks like trouble. Cute as he is. But it's up to you, Orange. Aw, oh, come on, Strawberry. Don't you trust me? Of course, but... Well, I'm gonna prove it to you. I'm gonna take better care of this fish than any fish has ever been taken care of before. I'm going to feed you and read to you every night. <gasps> oh, I can't wait to read you my favorite stories. And look at your beautiful home where you'll be safe and warm. Oh, I mean cool. <laughs> Just really see. You're gonna love it there. What's his name? Stuart. Isn't that the cutest name you ever heard for a fish? Stuart? Where is he, Orange? Oh, look! He's super cute! Hi, Lemon! Hello, Plum! Hi, Raspberry! Hi, Lemon! Oh, what a doll! Where's your fish? You can name him Pish! Or Mush! Or Splash! His name is Todd! I thought it was Stuart. <laughs> Catchy and cute. And dignified to boot. And look what I taught him to do. Strawberry. I have one with pictures. Oh, I love the ones with pictures. Blueberry? Oh, hi, Strawberry. I uh, seen Blueberry. I'm right here. Emergency. Todd's sick. I, I need books on fish care, fish diseases, fish cures, fish medicine. Oh, no. What's wrong with him? List the symptoms, please. Well, he has growths. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hi. I'm so sorry. Where did I go wrong? I've tried to give him everything a fish needs. I know you have. Everything a fish could want. I know you did. Everything a fish, he's not a fish. <gasps> he's a tadpole. A, a tadpole? What's that? A baby. Frog. <gasps> Todd is a fish. He's a frog. Todd's a frog? 
Well, he will be. Soon. He'll grow arms and legs and lose his tail. This process is called metamorphosis. So, um... So, at least he's not sick. But it might be best to take him back to the stream, huh? What? I, I can't do that. I, I promised to take care of him. But that's when you thought he was a fish. It's just that, well, isn't a frog more than you bargained for? I am not going to turn my back on him just because he switched species. He, Dad, can't help it if he's a frog. Okay, ready? And lift! <laughs> there! That's the front panel. Front panel of what, Raspberry? Oh, I didn't show you. You didn't see? Well, here, come here, come over here. This is great! I know, I know. You don't have the words. Um, fabulous, maybe? Inspired? Tremendous? Cutting edge? <laughs> See, um, orange appointed me fashion designer. I'm designing all the outfits for her and Tad. See, next week, she'll ride him in a dressage and jumping show with both of them sporting Raspberry's Frog Forward Fashions. <laughs> Orange says it'll be great publicity. You know, I'll probably, most likely, well, hopefully, well, maybe, you know, have a, have my own pet apparel line in stores by next fall. Uh... Huh. Please, still. I can't try to fool you. Huh? Behave. No, we do not drink the shampoo. Oh, now, please. <gasps> Quick, close the door. We'll get loose. I'll do great business if I branch out into pet grooming. Huh? And now, some cologne. He's kind of stinky. All right, wait a minute. Oh, no! Catch him! <laughs> Then something scared him. Maybe he doesn't like Barry Licious lavender. Maybe the bow is too girly for him. Maybe he doesn't like the color. Or maybe frogs don't wear bows. Huh? Orange, it's just that... I don't think frogs are supposed to be washed or dressed up. Maybe it would be best to let him go in the wild. Out there? All alone? Oh, no, 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 no. He, he's much better off with me. Um, come on, Dad. Uh, thanks, Lemon. I'll bring him back tomorrow, okay? I'll have a talk with him. He'll be better behaved. I promise. Can't wait. What is that? I promise, it's not my stomach. We believe you. I have a feeling I know just what it might be. Doing 
his night croaking. How can we do our night sleeping? Maybe the croaking is just a stage, and he'll grow out of it. That'll probably be the only thing he doesn't grow out of. Where's Orange? She turned in early. She was tired from chasing Tad around. Come on, girls. Let's think of a way to get him to go to sleep. Uh, hot milk. No, not that. Uh, a blanket. No, never mind. Hmm. Oh, a, a lullaby? Uh, no. Wait, what was that? Uh, a lullaby? Sing a lullaby to a frog. I like it. Good idea. Yeah. Close your eyes, little frog. Time to please stop your croaking. Pleasant dreams, little frog. Won't you finally go? she could be. Ugh, I need to get some light bulbs for my reading lamps. Still closed, huh? She was closed yesterday, too. I want to paint this beautiful tulip in the meadow, but I'm out of brushes. Well, I guess I'll just have to make a sculpture of the tulip instead. I wish you could sculpt me a light bulb. <laughs> Make sure this end stays shallow enough for Ted to get up. I wouldn't want him to hurt himself having to hop too much. Orange! What are you doing? Building a swimming pool for Ted. Isn't it great? Orange, um... Promise to let me use it to teach water ballet classes if I help dig. <gasps> <laughs> well, I gotta admit, Orange, you're sure giving him the best. Everything he needs. And then, when Mrs. Drewberry came home and discovered the kittens had unraveled her yarn. Oh, excuse me. Strawberry's Cafe, hope you're having a very nice day. Strawberry speaking. Oh, my. Yes, right away, Princess Berrykin. I just turned around and see what I found. Sorry, Princess. I'll talk to Orange. Thank you, Strawberry. And a graceful lift with the left arm. Uh, please, everyone. This is water ballet, not wood chopping. <laughs> <laughs> and now, everyone, with grace and style, I'd like you to... <gasps> Look out! Goodness! Is everyone all right? All right over here! Uh, yeah, I think. 
Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Oh, Strawberry! Orange promised to let me use this pool, but every class gets interrupted by Tad. I'll talk to her. I promise. Raspberry, what's happened? I'm upset! I can see that you are. What upset you? It's all my work! My sewing and stitching and your frog-forward fashions. Let me guess. Tad didn't like them. No! He loved them so much, he ate them! My goodness! And all Orange said was, he's just a frog. He didn't know what he was doing. That doesn't sound like the Orange we know. No, it sounds like the Orange who's got a pet that's become more important to her than, than manners. I'll talk to her. <laughs> Strawberry! Orange! What's um, the matter? It's Tad! He's... he's... gone! Now don't worry. Everyone's out looking. I'm sure the berry kids will find him any minute now. He couldn't have gone very far. I did everything I could for him. I kept him cool when he was hot, warm when he was cold, bathed him, sheltered him, rented No frog has ever been so loved, and, and, and now he ran away. Huh? <laughs> I found your pet. Look, a bear! Dad! What are you doing up there? You come down here this instant. <laughs> now he's asleep. <laughs> I'll wake him up. <laughs> 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 um, I don't think that's such a good idea. Hello? Wake up, Froggy! Uh. 